Hey guys, it's Erica from I Love Anime Web Show, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these awesome anime push pin buttons for your bulletin board or even your wall. So, for supplies, you are going to need some bottle caps. I just found these around my house because we had a party recently. You also need some acrylic paints. Um, you can just use one color or different colors. I'm using different colors here because I have different characters and they have specific some paint brushes and thumbtacks and also um, Mod Podge, Gloss Blue, and Lassier. I found mine at uh, Walmart, but you can also find it at Michael's. And finally, some photo paper. White paper you can also use, but photo paper is recommended. Before you even start to do the bu actual button making, um, log on to whatever internet browser you use and type on the search bar one inch button template and I'll have a link down below but if you want to use another one go ahead and then save that to your computer and here comes the fun part go to your Google browser or whatever internet browser you use and type the character or person you want the photo in the actual button to be searching up Ichinose Tokyo from Mutapri and also Subaki from Gokan so after that, save that picture to your desktop and open your photo editing system. Here I'm just using Photoshop because that's the thing I have on my computer. And then just post that picture and edit it into like a circle like I did here. And then place that photo on top of the photo template within that circle dot thing that says put your image here. And then after that just save it and then you're done with this part. And here I'm just showing you the different pictures I printed out. So, so much hotness. Okay. <laughs> so here I'm showing you the difference between using photo paper and actual white paper. Um, the girl who's Wanda Maximoff is much more shinier than her brother um, Pietro because I, the Pietro was like just a test for me, and you could t clearly see that the photo paper actually looks way better. So now just start painting your bottle caps whatever color you want to. Uh, here I'm just coloring it green because of Seth from Lucifer but you can choose whatever color you want. Here are some of the bottle caps I colored. Um, I had to mix some colors to make like pink and purple. So here I'm just cutting out Tsubaki from Brocon. So you want to cut the circle of the image, not the blue circle one, as you can see here, because the circle of the image is what actually fits inside the bottle cap. So for some odd reason I lost me putting the Mod Podge on the buttons but as it goes you just like paint over the image just like you would have painted the bottle cap and don't worry if it's like white because it dries on clear. So I, what I did here is like I put three coats and it's recommended you wait every 20 minutes to apply a coat but after the third coat I actually let it dry overnight and as you can tell it's pretty pretty. Now just use the Mod Podge and put some on the back of the thumb thumbnail and then hold it onto the back of the bottle cap and let it dry there for a while and then do this with all your bottle caps. And now you guys are officially done, um, choose where you want to put it. I, doesn't matter where. My bulletin board is foiled so I actually put them on the wall. An extra tip for you guys who don't like messing up your anime keychains like I do. I actually stick my anime keychains on the wall with thumbtacks so you can actually make whatever your keychain is and make it a thumbtack. So have a good day guys, I hope you liked this tutorial, it was my first one. So if I sound awkward in this video, I'm really sorry, I'll get better at it. So have a great day guys, I hope you try it.